everyone, hello friends. Today we have a general 2019 Bika card reading for you. You have five stacks that you can choose from and I'll go ahead and show the stacks up here. You can choose the bear, the phoenix, the octopus, the lion, or the dolphin, or you can choose from the crystals up above each stack. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do give it a thumbs up, it really helps with the channel, uh, and comment what you think about this reading, or if you have any suggestions, I would really appreciate it. So if you chose the spare stack, I don't know the exact name of this one. Your cards are, from your Lenormand cards, we have the sun, awesome, and the book. Some of you guys could be writing a book and finding that you are successful with it in this year or really getting focused in that, focused in your endeavor. You've got the Emperor, the Ten of Wands, the Knight of Swords. For your numerology deck, you have 13 effort, which also, by the way, matches with the four of the emperor because one and three from 13 is equal to four. And you also get that with the sun, with the three and one, you have a four if you add those digits together. All right, and then healing. So if you pick stack one, the bear, what is your message for 2019? Alright, so it seems like you guys are working on something. You're working on a project and you want to possibly really get focused on it this year. It's not that you want to, you probably are going to be really focused on it. It could have something to do with a book. It could have something to do with writing. Uh, it could have something to do with a project an art project or anything. A lot of you guys are authors though. It seems like it's a lot of work, whatever it is that you're doing or whatever it is that you're trying to create for yourself. It seems like a lot of work to the point that you feel like the 10 of wands, a lot of burdens. He's carrying a very heavy load and he still seems to have a long way to go, but it doesn't seem like this person on this card is going to give up anytime soon. So. That's what I feel like this year is going to be for you. It's not going to be like, oh, I'm going to do whatever I want, YOLO. A lot of you who pick stack one really want to finish something, really want to focus on something. And I say that because you also have the Emperor, the Knight of Swords, and Effort here. So it's like you're really trying to hit the mark this year. You're not trying to fuck around anymore for the lack of a better term you just want to freaking focus because you've probably been playing around for much too long and you're like you know what screw this i am going to get this thing done it's like yeah you're just healing yourself you're healing as an individual and i think there's a lot of mindset growth with those who picked stack one where you're like, no BS this year. I'm done, I'm sick of playing games, I want this thing and I'm gonna have it for those who pick stack one, that's what I'm getting for you. With the sun here though, I think that you will be very successful in your endeavor and this is why this comes up, because the sun is a very positive card in both the tarot and the Lenormand. So in the Lenormand, it's like, basically a message of dispelling any negativity or obstacles. Next to a negative card, the sun totally, the sun totally like makes everything better. So this is wonderful to get for those who pick stack one. Now, if you are not working on a book or if you're not an author, then it's likely that you are just going to be in school some of you guys are in school and really needs to focus on school and like this is something that's important to you and something that's important to your family it seems like you're gonna have a good experience in school so awesome however it seems that it's gonna take a lot of work because a lot of you guys are probably going into 
I'm getting engineering. Some of you are going to be engineers and really going into these fields that are challenging and take a lot of effort and discipline and focus. But it looks like you're going to like go for it 100% and like put in your best effort for those who pick stack one. Like you're done messing around. Maybe you've messed around in the past, but this year you're like focused. And I think that will really bring a lot of blessings for you. Uh, if if you're not in school or if you're not trying to write a book or working on a project, maybe in it, maybe this is a message of a book inspiring you somehow, making you feel like you can do anything, making you want to commit to something, making you want to put in the effort for whatever it is that you want. Some of you guys could be Aries. The Emperor is an Aries card, but for those of Pixiac 1, it's definitely... A message of effort, focus, discipline, getting things done even though they're not as fun or like even though everybody else is like having a good time and partying it up, you're just gonna sort of kind of go into hibern hibernation mode, meaning that you're just gonna probably go your own path a little bit this year. And if this is resonating with you, you're you're probably nodding your head like, yeah, that sounds good. This sounds like what I want to do. So this is your message. And um, if this is not resonating with you, please feel free to pick another stack because this is a very this is for a very specific group of people. Always go with what your gut is feeling. Sometimes what I do or how I pick stacks is something just like is really calling out to me energetically and I just go for that I don't even care what crystal it is or whatever sometimes I just look at the stack of cards and like a specific stack is just like calling out to me so that's what I'll pick but in this case because you have you know the animals or the crystals you can go for that or you can go with the energetic um, signature of each deck laid out in front of you. Hopefully that makes sense. For those who picked the bear stack, you have the healing card. You could have been through a breakup. You could have been getting a divorce. Something could have happened with your significant other. Just a very difficult situation, I think. And putting the effort and focus on whatever project it is that you feel inclined to work on or that your soul is kind of nudging you to work on is going to be like the perfect distraction for you, but in the best possible way. Distraction not as in taking away from your highest path, but more so bringing you there and putting you in the right path and distracting you from the thing that is making you feel bad. With the healing card and the sun card, it seems like you'll find yourself in a good place this year. It is going to take some effort on your part. It's going to take you working on the project that you're working on, working on yourself every single day, no matter how difficult it can be. Because of the hurt and the trauma that you have experienced perhaps in this last, in the last year. So yeah. Hopefully you like this reading and hopefully it was a benefit and a value to you. So if it was, please do give it a thumbs up. I really would appreciate it and I will see you in the next video. Okay, so if you picked the Phoenix stack with the Celestite crystal, what is your messages for 2019? We have the house and the woman. Page of Cups, you could be dealing with a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Or it could just be new inspiration, something new coming up into your life, new love. That would be interesting. We've got Justice. It could be talking about a Libra as well with a Justice card. Or something in regards to the law or paperwork, the system, or anything like that. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. It could have something to do with family life or home life. Also, because we have a house here in our Lenormand cards. And karmic completion. Actually, very perfect because we also did pick the phoenix. And for me, karmic completion and phoenix really go hand in hand. 
know, the phoenix is rising up after a cycle, right? After a cycle, the phoenix is reborn. And that's what I feel like karmic completion is. It's like a new level. And oh my gosh, we have love. And with the page of cups, you know, it could be a water sign coming in. Or it could just be new love with the page of cups. Because the page of cups can sometimes mean new love or a new idea or new inspiration kind of like a pleasant surprise like he didn't really anticipate a fish being in there but it like popped up you know and it was just like oh wow here you are it could be that someone very special comes along in 2019 for those who pick the phoenix and this could be someone who you know you can have a home with you could have a happy family with. I'm seeing a lot of fulfillment foundations getting stronger and stronger. Um, <clears throat> and for the men out there, it could definitely be a woman um, coming into your life. Obviously, if you're heterosexual, for the women, it could be you. Maybe moving into a new place or being really grounded in yourself and in your life. You know, it could, it could be you basically having the perfect home situation for those of you who are dealing with a situation at home which is less than ideal. You know, with the karmic completion, that's what it's telling me. It's like some of you guys are dealing with situations at home that are very difficult and could be challenging as well. The Ten of Cups and Karmic Completion sort of says, you know, all of the troubles there is ending. And there's a lot of growth in regards to family. It could even be with, like, your own family or, like, your entire biological family. Or your immediate family. It seems like whatever is going on in that area of your life, Something is, something is ending, something is changing this year. It could be that love comes in and changes things around for you. And I also noticed with the justice, <clears throat> 29 is 11 and justice is 11. Very interesting. It could be that someone is getting justice from a person or you are getting justice from, for a situation. The tables are turning positively in your favor. You don't have to necessarily be a woman. It could just be that a woman is involved in the situation. Um, but it seems very positive for you. And also with the karmic completion, it's like... Whoever is dealing with a situation regarding the law, it's like this is coming to an end. So if you pick stack to the phoenix... Whatever situation in the justice or in the field of justice seems to be coming to an end or seems to be moving forward in a good direction, for sure. A lot of new things for those who pick stock to you, specifically in regards to emotion. So I'm getting a lot of feelings of emotional fulfillment and abundance and prosperity. For me, the Ten of Pentacles is the prosperity card. Oh, I don't know why I picked up justice, but... but... You have the financial stability. Your family has the financial stability. You're able to just hang out and enjoy. You know, it doesn't even have to be on a Sunday. And as you can see, the blue and red show up here as well, so... Very interesting. You also get the blue and red with the phoenix and the love and the page of cups. So, it could be that for those who pick stack two... You are going to be coming into Twin Flame Union and this person is going to be the one that you're able to have this sort of dynamic with. Pardon my voice, I'm still recovering from a cold. So yeah, it seems I'm getting a lot of foundations. Four is the number for foundations, right? But also, the Ten of Pentacles for me is a foundation card. I'm getting like you're going to also be introducing 
your romantic and significant partner to your family and I think that it'd be just a beautiful situation and everybody's getting along and your family loves your significant other and your significant other really fits in well with the family as well. <clears throat> and it's like Phoenix and love. This is a new dynamic. This is a type of love that you never had before but in the best possible way. You know, maybe you've been hurt in the past. This year is going to bring in love for you that's completely different and love that is just right and mature and love that you can rely on. But also have fun with at the same time. But it's like, it's so amazing because the foundations are strong. The foundations are really strong in this new love that you're going to be quite possibly manifesting into your life this year. I feel like for those big sex you, a lot of you guys want that. And this combination is interesting. The woman in the house, it could have something to do with a woman in your family or in the house that you're living in. Maybe for some of you guys, she will be introducing you to that new person or she will be providing some sort of information um, or message that will help you bring in this person and bring in the stability. Some of you guys could be getting an inheritance. Positive news regarding this woman is what I'm feeling. Good vibes, good vibes for sure. So that is your reading if you picked the Phoenix and the Celestite crystal. I hope you liked this reading and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and comment below what you thought about it or if you have any other suggestions. I'll see you in the next video. Hello, if you pick the octopus or the smoky quartz crystal, we're going to go ahead and get started with your 2019 general reading. Thank you for joining me. If you like this reading, please give it a thumbs up and comment below your thoughts on it. I love to hear about how the messages um <clears throat> how the messages sort of relate to you and what you think about them. All right, so if you pick the octopus, your cards are we have the bear and the ways, or the bear and the crossroads. Bear is typically about self-employment. could be about your boss or a very powerful person or figure in your life, like authority figure. And the ways is like a decision, like going one way or the other way, or like a road being split in two. Like there's, it could also mean change, like going from one path and then going to the next path or like changing paths all of a sudden. <clears throat> all right, so we have the Wheel of Fortune. I love the Wheel of Fortune. I'm getting like a sense of a lucky break here. I'm getting a sense of a change that brings about new opportunities for you, especially with the ways here. Could be that a boss or a person in your life makes an offer that's like your blessing this year. Knight of Cups, an offer again coming up here. Could be a job offer, it could be a love offer, so we'll see what other cards come up. Three of Swords, interesting. Health. And Perseverance. Some of you are having health issues. Some of you guys could have been rejected recently or in the present moment. And this could have had like a toll on your mental health or your spiritual and physical health even. 2019 will be a year of perseverance for you because if you hold on and if you do your best on a daily basis, things are going to change and new doors are going to open up for you. There's someone here who is going to get an offer. It could definitely have to do with a promotion for sure. Especially because you have the Knight of Cups here. So some sort of offer is the Wheel of Fortune moment for you in 2019, which I love. I feel like the Wheel of Fortune is the best card to get in a new year reading, especially next to the Knight of Cups some sort of offer gives you new opportunities some sort of offer opens 
a lot of doors for you. And some sort of offer changes your life in a very positive way. But these three cards here, they kind of show us a little bit of the obstacles that you've been through or the obstacles that you're going through as, as of this moment. Some of you guys are dealing with heartbreak. Could be rejection even at work. Like you being rejected by somebody somebody very significant in your life with the bear and the bear and the crossroads here. Yet that rejection bringing in that rejection sort of like putting you on the right path instead. You know what I mean? It's like when one door closes, another one opens. That's the message that I'm getting here. All you have to do is actually quite easy, and that's persevere. There will be days when you're like, what am I doing? There will be days when I'm getting a sense of wanting to give up, feeling worthless, feeling like you're not valuable or not good enough for something, feeling like you don't have a place here, feeling like you don't have a place in the world, and feeling like a total weirdo or like outsider sometimes to the point that you're wondering if you know people will even miss you i'm getting like some of you guys could be dealing with suicidal thoughts so really look at this card here perseverance four is a number of foundations and i love the number four and you also get that with the 22 here two plus two is four so Perseverance, because a new road seems to be opening up. A new road is going to be cleared up just for you this year. There will be a very awesome, positive offer that is perfect for you with the Wheel of Fortune and Nine of Cups. But however, it could come from a rejection of some sort. It could, it could be bad before it gets good. So if that's something that's resonating with you, and if you're going through that right now, then you know, hang in there, persevere, because good times are coming. The Wheel of Fortune for me is like a roller coaster card. Yeah, you may be going through stuff. It may be hard, but you just need to wait a little bit more and that scale will start to tilt in your favor. But just hang in there. Whatever it is that you're going through, I'm getting for some of you guys, it's definitely a rejection from somebody that you care about. But for others, it's more of a career-related thing. I'm getting that some of you guys could be could be getting I'm getting that some of you guys could be dealing with issues in the love department also because of your health but also in the career fields like maybe you're dealing with problems because you have health issues maybe that's kind of a, a standing in the way some of you guys are finding your way this year and I'm also getting that with the bear as well there's something here about finding your way, finding your place. Yeah, hang in there because I really feel like you will be pleasantly surprised this year. However, like I said, it might come after hardships or, you know, some sort of disappointment. It might, the blessings might come after disappointment. It's sort of like this idea of every rose has its thorn. Or every rose has thorns. Is it every rose has thorns or every rose has its thorns? Something like that, you know what I mean? Like, it's beautiful, but it might take, it might be painful first. Hopefully this was helpful to you and hopefully you liked this reading. So yeah, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you think about it. Hello my lions. If you pick this lion here with a golden healer, your cards for 2019 are... Alright, this one's tough a little bit, but please bear with me because the messages, they do change and shift around. We get, we get the coffin and the dog. My boss actually is dealing with this right now. Um, her pet just died. 
It could also be like disloyalty. It could be disappointment in somebody because a dog can represent loyalty. But I just instantly got the death of a pet because my boss went through that. So yeah, we'll see the other cards. So don't be don't let that scare you, okay. Page of Wands and Ace of Wands. I'm hearing curiosity. I'm hearing dissection. Two of Swords. I'm also sensing that this is like a romantic thing too. Like someone here is dealing with a relationship. Um, some of you guys want to have fun this year. Like you just want to have casual fun and you don't want to judge yourself for it. <laughs> Spirituality and change. Interesting. Yeah, so maybe you guys could have been like really trying to be good. Being the good girl or being the nice guy. But I feel like this year some of that changes. You know, earlier what came up at first was the death of a pet. Like a death of a dog. Which scares me because I have a dog as well. Hopefully that doesn't happen, obviously. But now I see that it could definitely be about the death, quote-unquote death, or ending of a certain way of living. In the sense, like, your dedication, the, the dog could be a very dedicated person. You know, our dogs are dedicated and loyal to us. So it could be the death of a dedication, the death or end of a loyalty to something. And with the spirituality card, it's like the death of, or the ending of a certain ideal that we've been living with. It's almost like you want to be wild. <laughs> you want to get wild this year. You're like, I need more excitement in my life. That's the type of thing that I'm feeling with th this stack. You know, you're like, should I stay on the same course? Or, you know, is it okay that I start to do things that I said I wouldn't do? So you're like changing some of those things that you said that you were very much so dedicated to. You're changing and reinventing yourself because you want to like switch things up. You kind of want to be wilder for some reason. That's what I'm getting. Like your loyalty to something or someone just ended. It's not necessarily ending or you kind of like are wondering... I kind of want to have fun. Maybe some of you guys are seeking to have open relationships or talk to your partner about maybe spicing things up a little bit. You know, I'm just, I just heard threesome, so I don't know. I don't know where that came from. I'm so sorry. If you are, you know, forget about it. Never, never mind. Let's not. If you pick the lion, you want to spice things up, and I think you want to let loose a little, bit, a little bit. The lion's like powerful. He gives no fucks. He gets plenty of bitches. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The lion, I mean, he's like the king of the jungle. And I feel like that's what you want to be. You want to let loose. You may have been very deeply spiritual, leaning towards purity. Or leaning towards living in a very pure way. And I feel like some of you guys want to change that. 7 is 7 and is 14. 14 is 5. When you simplify it and you get 5 here as well. So, interesting. Something about your spirituality is changing. Um, for others of you, it could definitely be you wanting to be more spiritual. You wanting to seek more truth. Maybe you're loyal to a certain belief or a certain set of beliefs. Maybe you're loyal to a certain religion because of what you, because of how you grew up. I think this year you want to broaden your horizons. You want to broaden your perspectives. You want to learn some more. Um, the Wands suit is about spirituality. So it's like you're you're getting curious about some things. Maybe this is your first time watching a tarot video and you're like, 
where is all of this coming from? Why is it resonating with me? You know, these are things that if you pick the lion, you could be going through something like this this year. You could be discovering new things in the spiritual field of life. And I think it might really change you in the future. But in a positive way, like for me, I always welcome change because no matter what, whatever it is that we're going through is exactly where we're supposed to be. Because life makes no mistakes. And I'm a firm believer that in every situation, there is an intelligence guiding us every step of the way. And it's just our job to persevere and hang on and to find meaning for ourselves. And to find the strength to keep going despite any downs that we experience or despite any obstacles or uncertainties that we experience. So I really feel like, you know, if this is you, if you want to change something and you're like, what am I going to do? I want to change. I'm getting bored out of my mind. You know, it's all about exploration, exploring your passions, exploring your spirituality. If you picked stack four with the lion, um, I'm excited for you. I love, love, love delving deeper and deeper into my spirituality. And I mean, what better cards to get for that than the page of wands and the ace of wands? Ooh, I'm getting that a lot of things this year is going to wake you up. <laughs> you are no longer going to be a sheeple, as they call it. Sheeple. You're going to be woke AF. But all jokes aside, yeah, I think you're going to you're going to come to this place of deeper understanding in your everyday life. And you're going to bring that with you everywhere you go. And I think people are going to feel that, feel that shift in you. And they'll be positively affected by it if they were really your true friends or if they're really like good for you. And I think you'll also be meeting a lot of people who are going to broaden your perspective, broaden your mind and make you see life and the world in a different way. But this is all very positive. I'm sorry if that scared you with the death of a dog. It just, the, my boss going through it, I think just my mind instantly wanted to say that. Or that my mind instantly saw it. But now I see that it's really more about the death of a loyalty to an ideal. Or a belief. Or a group. So yeah, I hope that this reading resonated with you and if it did please give the video a thumbs up i really would appreciate it and thank you again for joining me here on my channel and i hope to see you in the next one hi if you pick the dolphin with the quartz crystal you've got the anchor the fox Temperance could be dealing with a Sagittarius, or maybe you're a Sagittarius. You have the Devil, Nine of Pentacles, Music. How did I know this card was going to come up in this reading? I don't know. New Beginnings, same color, interesting. Alright, if you picked stack 5, the dolphin, what are your 2019 messages? You could be dealing with a situation regarding your job. The fox is typically about our 9 to 5 job. So if you have a 9 to 5 job, you could be dealing with a situation of... You could be dealing with a good situation in your job. You could be dealing with a type of situation at work where you feel good about it. You feel good about where you are. And it's like you don't want to move. You don't want to leave. You, you appreciate your job. <clears throat> you also have Temperance and the Fox, which are both 14s. So whenever something 
matches up like that. I'm always very intrigued. I wonder what this means for some of you guys. Temperance and the Fox. I'm getting that some of you guys are workaholics. You have the devil here and also the nine of pentacles. So you're like, I want money, money, money. I love money and I'm content because of the money that I make at my job. Some of you guys are working in an environment where music is a big factor. So if that's, if the job thing and the music thing is resonating for you, then this is for you. For others of you, the music card sort of just acts like a reminder to discover more music with the new beginnings here as well. It's like, you could benefit from discovering new music, you could benefit from going outside, and you could benefit from going out and listening to music or seeing musicians play live. This one, to be honest with you, is feeling very vague for me, so I'm going to get a few clarifiers. Spirit, can you please clarify for those who've picked the dolphin stack? I keep getting workaholic, so... But this year, you're just going to be working hard. And you'll experience a lot of financial stability and success. But temperance and devil sort of says, watch out for any unhealthy behaviors or any unhealthy addiction. So if you ever notice that something is becoming too much to the point that it's affecting you negatively and it's making you feel like there's no way out of something, I mean, it doesn't have to be about work. It could be about a relationship as well or just addictions, whether it be drugs, sex, money, shopping. The temperance with next to the devil card is actually a very... good combination in terms of warning you about potential addictions. Why is music and new beginnings here? I'm not gonna lie, this stack is really like baffling me right now. I do mean what I said prior though. Something to do with your job, something to do with working this year, some of you guys just work a lot, work hard, and I think maybe you'll find reasons to stay. Um, but there's almost like a sense of needing to introduce something new with the new beginnings there. You know, do you really want this year to be the same as last year? I think the answer to that <clears throat> is no, but I'm getting like a sense of... I'm getting like a sense of stubbornness. Again, working on something. Now it's starting to make sense. Some of you guys are passionate about music. And music is actually what you want to do. But you feel very much so secure with your job. You feel very secure with your job. And there's a part of you that's like... I'm stuck here. I need the money. The money is good. I need the money. You know, it makes me feel secure. But there's almost like a need for you to follow your passions with the music and the new beginnings. This is not for everybody because not everybody is passionate about music. But some of you guys have real talent. And... Some of you guys really have a strong urge to go for that musical career, or at least to, you know, try your hand at it. Um, but there is a sense of denial I'm getting. Denial that, oh, I don't actually care all that much, you know. It's not really that important. You know, I have a good job. Yeah, I want to do it, but it's not that important. You know, type of feeling... One more card, please, for those who fixed the dolphin stack. Why is music in your beginnings here? Knight of Wands and the Seven of Wands. Exactly. This is a stubborn card. This is like, you, you can't tell me what to do. You can't tell me what to think. You can't tell me what I'm feeling. But this is like fighting for yourself. Fighting for what you want. Fighting for what you believe in. 
And the Knight of the Knight of Wands, he really goes after something. He doesn't give a crap. He's like, I'm gonna get what I want. And he does it in like such a cool way. For me, the Knight of Wands is like the player. He's like, I want this girl. Or I want this guy and I'll have him or her. There seems to be like for those who pick the stack, like some sort of arrogance in some way. Maybe you have a lot of pride and it prevents you from really pursuing music. Because <clears throat> as you know, if you really wanted to pursue music, you're going to have to like... Overcome pride because you're going to have to put yourself out there in situations that might be embarrassing. Especially for people who want to get into music but don't have any prior experience. <clears throat> But for some of you guys, music is just the thing that will help you this year. The thing that will bring more inspiration to you this year. Eight here, eight of pentacles, and the three and five is an eight with the anchor here. So it seems like you're really grounded in whatever it is you're working on. It could be the music. But it could also be you're really working on something at your job. It could be like feeling like you're stuck. You've got the you've got the chains around your neck and you're stuck to something. Like you want to get out, but there's benefits there. There's positive aspects, specifically money. Temperance says you need to balance survival with your higher pursuits, which your higher pursuits meaning the things that you actually want to do. Instead of focusing completely on survival and money, the new beginnings is sort of a message of, you know, go for it. Do something a little bit nuts and introduce and try something new. For some of you guys, it's the music. I feel like I have a viewer here who is really, who's like a musical person. Because my last reading, I got an image of a band and that was like so random that I'm guessing it's coming from someone else or I'm sensing that it's coming from someone else so some of you guys would love to be in a band or have a band and like not entirely sure how to balance that with your job <clears throat> but I know you guys who picked the dolphin stack I know that's very specific sometimes it happens that General pick a card readings are very specific for a specific individual. If that's you and this is resonating with you, please leave a comment below. I'd really appreciate it and I'd love to know like what's going on with you. Um, but yeah, I'll show you the images of the cards so you can see for yourself and sort of see like what this could mean for you guys. But if you pick the Dolphin stack, your message this year is about having a balance between working and doing you, what you love and doing other things that make you happy. The Wands is all about passion. It's all about spirituality. It's about fighting for your calling, fighting for the things that you want to do on a deeper level, as opposed to just trying to survive and get your coins all the time. And that really comes off strongly with the devil. So, yeah, that's something to think about this year. Do you want to just be working and working and working? Or do you want to introduce a new energy into your year? Do you want to switch things up a little bit and go outside of your comfort zone and push yourself and challenge yourself this year? And break those chains, like whatever is holding you back, whether it's embarrassment or like fear of embarrassment, fear of rejection, your pride. It seems like temperance is calling on you to work on those things that are keeping you chained to this box. So yeah, I hope that that was helpful to you. If it was, leave me a comment below or like the video. Or not, up to you. But I would really appreciate it if you did. So that is it. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you again so much for watching. 
and for joining me here on my channel. And I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video. Happy New Year.